Now understand, this is what I'm talking about for us autistic people. We are too shy by default, but on earning our trust, or if we feel comfortable or like the other person on our individual instincts, we will open up. And to start us right, we need either A, the other person to approach and talk to us upon their own will, or B, have our own trusted friend or family introduce us to other people of our respective ages. In this scenario, it was a great match for me for A, she is a single woman without a boyfriend, B, she is pretty and easy on my eyes, and C, this woman I could feel comfortable with and feel a good and honest aura from her. From this, a good friendship and hopefully a, a long relationship will stay between us for the long time. Do not bring me down here, naysayers and haters. Let's look at a few other scenarios of similar to opposite results. Obviously, most women, easy on my eyes, good humored, sweet, pretty, black, white, Asian, Christian, Jewish, Buddhism, I have no because I have no care about skin color or religion, whatever. I will be kind to all of them, respectful and welcoming them, to have them in my circle of friends, lesbians too. Just don't get on my bad side here. Men, my own kind, on the other hand, I will feel most hesitant towards, because I have had fewer male friends in my life and I have had mostly bad experiences around them. Plus, and this is very important, in my autism tests, it was found that I get along better with women well over men. And considering my life experiences and my own opinion, I totally agree with that. If the uh, individual, however, offers a uh, friendly gesture and does not make me angry or make me feel most uncomfortable or ill at ease, I will be willing to give him a chance and welcome him as a friend and nothing more. However, going back to the mean people of the internet, upon meeting one of them in real life, and I will be able to recognize them, I'm sure enough, at least with basic instincts, I will not hold back my endured rage. Just ask this crying Clyde. Physically and mentally challenged individuals will vary more. Good results upon if they are easy to look at, if they are able to speak clearly, even slowly, that I can easily understand them. And now uh, the other part, the other side, whoa, back off, I'm spooked if you are ugly, seriously disfigured, especially in the face, that you mumble more than you speak, you're hard to understand at all, it is nothing personal, and I apologize for anyone who feels at unease after hearing what I just said, but it's just the way I feel, that's all. 